Welcome to the video, everyone. This time we are talking about more Latin genitives. This is from the Vulgate course, number 96. Let's jump right in. Here we have the sentence, the earth is the Lord. Earth, I've already underlined, is the subject of the sentence, and it's in the nominative case. Then we have the verb is. We're not sure yet if it's a state of being verb, if it's a linking verb, or if it's an action verb. Well, by now you should know, if you know much about English grammar, you should know that this is not an action verb. But it's not showing any action, so that's clear. It's not an action verb. So is it a linking verb, or is it a state of being verb? If it's a linking verb, it can be replaced, remember, with an equal sign. Can we replace it with an equal sign? The earth equals the Lord's. Eh, not really. Can we replace it with the word exists? That's a good test on whether or not it's a state of being verb. If we can replace it with the word exists, there's a good chance that it's a state of being verb. The earth exists as the Lord's. Yeah, if we throw in the word as, it works. The earth exists as the Lord's. So there we go. This is a state of being verb. And actually, I am going to erase a bunch of what we've written here. Maybe I'm not. Oh, there it is. So we're going to get rid of all this so that we have room to diagram now underneath. Okay, there's an apostrophe above the word lords. That apostrophe shows possession. Whenever a word is, whenever a word shows possession, it is in the genitive case in Latin. Okay, in English we just say it's in the possessive case, but in Latin we say it's in the genitive case. The is an article adjective. Does is an article adjective. Latin doesn't have any of those. Let's diagram this. Earth on the subject side. The earth is on the verb side. The earth is the Lord's. Now, this is really weird. We could replace Lord's with of the Lord. And there it becomes a little bit more clear that this is the earth of the Lord. In that case, of the Lord, the earth of the Lord, uh, of the Lord is actually describing earth, would go underneath earth. So we would write, of Lord the. But really it is the same thing. So we're just going to eliminate of, and we're going to write apostrophe s. The earth is the Lord's. Okay, now all that's left is to translate this into Latin. William Dodds in the Vulgate Course starts off with the Lord's, that's in the genitive case, Domini. Dominus is the Lord, Domini of the Lord, or the Lord's. Domini, uh, let's see, Domini est terra. The earth is the Lord's. And really it says, the earth is of the Lord. Either translation works. The earth is the Lord's, the earth is of the Lord. Showing possession, and therefore in the genitive case. Okay, let's look at another one. This is the gift of God. Subject of the sentence, this. Subject of the sentence, nominative case. What's the verb? is. This is what? We don't know if this is a state of being verb, linking verb, or an action verb yet. So let's keep going. This is gift. We have a noun immediately after this verb. We can eliminate the article adjective. So my guess is it's a linking verb. Now we have to just test. Can we replace it with an equal sign? This equals gift. Yep, it works. So this is a linking verb. This is or this equals the gift. That means that this noun, predicate, uh, this gift noun is a predicate nominative and goes into the nominative case. Of is a pre uh, preposition and it sets off a prepositional phrase of God. God is the object of the preposition. Since this prepositional phrase shows possession, this is the gift. Whose gift is it? It's the gift of God. Then of God goes into the genitive case. All right, let's diagram this, and then we'll translate it. This on the subject side is on the verb side. 
We have a predicate nominative, so we'll have a slanted line to the main line, not through the main line. This is gift. What kind of gift or whose gift? It's, well, actually, first of all, let's get rid of the article adjective. This is the gift. Whose gift? It is the gift of God. This genitive prepositional phrase goes on, to sl on a slanted line initially and then a straight line. The only thing left now is to translate this into Latin. This in Latin is hoc. It's hoc because gift is neuter. Hoc est, oops, hoc est donum. Donum is gift. That's where we get the English words donate and donor and donation. Hoc est donum, and then to say of God, we take the word deus and put it into the genitive case, so we end up with dei. Hoc est donum dei. Hoc est donum dei. There you go. I hope that helped cleared the, clear the genitive case up just a little bit for you in Latin, guys. If you like that and you need more or want more or are failing in your high school Latin class and you need some help, Subscribe below and ask for help in the comments section. Take care, my friends.